Hello everyone. Welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. My name is Sanya and this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro fast. So, in today's video we will discuss how to install Ubuntu 20.04 LTS on VirtualBox in Windows 10. So, let's get started. Ubuntu is a Linux Debian based open source operating system. The features, security and free softwares it provides makes it a very popular operating system amongst Linux users. Mostly people who develop applications or work on open source softwares use Linux like Ubuntu. Well, if I talk about Oracle Virtual Machine VirtualBox, then it is a free and open source virtualization platform developed by Oracle Corporation. The users can install the VirtualBox on Windows, Mac operating system, Linux, and other operating system. It enables users to install other operating system by creating virtual machines. Now, before installing Ubuntu 20.04 LTS, let's discuss its system requirements. Version Microsoft Windows 10, either 32-bit or 64-bit. Minimum 4 GB of RAM is recommended, while 25 GB free space is recommended. And good internet connection to download VirtualBox and Ubuntu ISO file. So, in order to install Ubuntu 20.04 LTS, you need to download the ISO file first. Now, here you need to write Ubuntu 20.04 LTS download. Here you can see it. Click on it now and click on this link. Here you have different options. You need to go to the download option here and here you can see Ubuntu desktop. Click on 20.04 LTS. Here is the ISO file, you can download it. As I have already downloaded the ISO file, so I'm not gonna download it again. Now, once you have downloaded the ISO file, open the virtual box. Now here you need to create a new machine. So for that, click on the new button. And here you need to give the name of the machine that is Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. And then here you need to choose the path of the file you can also check the type and version. Well, they are perfectly fine. So I'm going to hit the next button. Now here you need to select the memory in megabytes to be allocated to the virtual machine. While the recommended memory size is 1024 megabytes. Well, I'm going to select around 4 to 5 gigabytes. So yes, 4 gigabytes and then hit next button. Now here you can add a virtual hard disk to the new machine. You can either create a new hard disk file or select one from the list or from another location using the folder icon. I will select the default option, create a virtual hard disk now and then create. Now here you need to choose the type of the file that you would like to use for the new virtual hard disk. Now go with the VDI virtual box disk image and then hit on next button. Now here you need to choose whether the new virtual hard disk file should grow as it is used or if it should be created at its maximum size. So for that, always go with dynamically allocated option and then hit next button. Now here, you can select the size of the virtual hard disk in gigabytes. Well, I'm going to select around 20 gigabytes and then create. Now here you can see our machine has been created. So now go into the settings. From here, you can change the tab and version as well if you want to. Well, go to advanced and from here, Share clipboard, make it bi-directional and drag and drop, make it bi-directional and then hit OK. Now you will be able to send files between the host and the virtual machine. Now start this virtual machine. Now here you need to select a virtual optical disk file or a physical optical drive containing a disk to start this new virtual machine from. So click on this folder icon and here I'm gonna add my ISO file here. So here you can see this is my ISO file. Select it and then open it and then choose and start. It will take some time. Now here you can see you can try Ubuntu without making any changes to your computer directly from the CD or you can install Ubuntu. Well, I'll go with the install Ubuntu option. And now here you need to select the keyboard layout. 
Well, this is perfectly fine. Click on continue. Now updates and other softwares. Here you need to tell what applications would you like to install to start with. I will go with normal installation, download updates while installing Ubuntu and check this box. Install third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats and then continue. Now here you need to select the installation type. Well, this computer currently has no detected operating system, what would you like to do? So here you have two options, erase disk and install Ubuntu. Well, it will not delete any programs as you are not directly installing this machine onto your system, but you are installing this machine in virtual box. So select this option and then install now. If you will press continue, the changes you have made will be written to the disk Otherwise, you will be able to make further changes manually. So I'm going to click on continue button. Now it will take some time. So you have to wait patiently. Now here you need to select the location, continue. And here you need to give some information. And you need to choose the password, continue. And here you can see almost finished copying files. Now it will take some time as it is installing the machine. Now here you can see installation complete. Now you need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation. So restart it now. So that is how you can install Ubuntu 20.04 LTS in Windows 10 using VirtualBox. So that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any queries, reach out to us in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video.